Will a strike derail the 2010 World Cup in South Africa? These construction workers for the World Cup stadiums are willing to take that chance. You've got a whole workforce that are building beautiful stadia that are not earning enough to be able to take back to their families. A couple of hundred protesters marched around a stadium near Soweto, brandishing sharpened sticks and singing songs of lament. On average, workers say they earn about $240 a month, including overtime. But they say it's not enough to feed their families. Construction projects across South Africa are on tight deadlines to finish construction by December. But the week-long strike may upset the whole agenda for next summer's World Cup. Employers offered an 11.5% wage increase, but workers rejected it, opting instead to lower their original demand to 12%. The union spokesman hopes to reach an agreement with employers and mediators soon. So long as there's no resolution, the strike will continue. The workers say they were proud of their role in building a piece of South African history, but they have little to show for their work. They warn if they don't see a wage increase and better working conditions, there will be a lot of unfinished stadiums in South Africa next year. Sophia Manos, The Associated Press.